study the past if you would define the future. All are architects of fate, working in these walls of time. Whether you want to rule a country, a colony, lead the survivors, or build a galactic empire, this list is for you if you want to play, but haven't decided what to play. If you want to see which ones are the best, I highly recommend you check out this video. Each of us shall endure this world's life until the end. Civilization VI is a great turn-based strategy game. I love guiding my civilization through history, and the new mechanics like governors and research boosts add a fun twist. However, the AI can be weird and the interface gets cluttered with big empires. Still, it's deep and engaging. Just expect a learning curve and some odd AI behavior. Alice. This is it, boys. Company of Heroes 3 shines in its core RTS battles. Tank warfare is brutal, factions are distinct, and flanking maneuvers add tactical spice. However, the Italian campaign, blending turn-based strategy with RTS, is a buggy letdown. Fun for strategic minds who love intense skirmishes, but the campaign holds it back. Consider this if you crave tactical depth, but be prepared to focus on multiplayer or skirmishes. So watch out. Anno 1800 is a city builder set in the 1800s. You build houses, manage resources, and keep your citizens happy across multiple islands. It's rewarding to watch your city sprawl, but keeping everyone satisfied requires juggling production chains, trade, and even pirate threats. There's a learning curve, but for those who enjoy a challenge, Anno 1800 offers a deep and engaging experience. Crusader Kings 3 throws you into the heart of medieval politics, like a Game of Thrones simulator. You guide a noble family, scheming, marrying for power, and even turning rivals to strange cults. It's complex, but rewarding. Prepare for your best plans to be derailed by a backstabbing cousin or a sudden revolt. That's Crusader Kings in a nutshell. Hearts of Iron 4 throws you into the strategic chaos of World War II. It's complex at first, like a military codebook. Tutorials help, but mastering it takes time. It's challenging, but rewarding. Once you figure it out, you can outsmart the AI and guide a small nation to dominate Europe. It's not for everyone, but for those who crave a challenging WW2 grand strategy experience, Hearts of Iron 4 will hook you for hundreds of horrors. EU4 is a deep dive into history, letting you rewrite the grand narrative from 1444 to 1821. It's challenging to learn, with systems for trade, war, and managing your own nation, but that's where the fun lies. You can conquer as a nomad empire, revive old powers, or forge something entirely new. It's about the stories you create, not just min-maxing. Be prepared to invest time to unravel its complexities, but the rewards are well worth it. RimWorld is a wild ride. You start building a colony for crash-landed survivors. But instead of peace, you face solar flares, sieges, and all sorts of chaos. 
The fun comes from overcoming these challenges and watching your colonists grow, or tragically not. It's intense, but if you crave a deep colony sim with a twist of storytelling, RimWorld delivers. Frostpunk throws you into the frozen heart of a brutal survival struggle. Every decision as leader feels consequential, constantly weighing resource management against keeping hope alive. The game confronts you with tough choices, from maintaining order through harsh laws to inspiring trust. It's a fantastic challenge for those who enjoy moral dilemmas and a good fight for survival. Just be prepared. Frostpunk's icy grip demands tough calls, and survival often comes at a cost. Stellaris shines in its early stages. Crafting a unique race and venturing into the unknown is a blast. However, the magic fades as your empire grows. Managing a vast space becomes tedious, and the AI struggles to surprise you in later wars. While mods add variety, the base game could do more to keep the late game exciting. Still, Stellaris is a great choice for those who love exploring space and building a galactic civilization, but be prepared for a potential mid-game lull. Our station is under assault. Yes? The swarm never rests. You have my attention. StarCraft II hooked me with its single-player campaign, offering unique stories for each race and diverse missions that went beyond just base building and attacks. It truly kept things interesting. However, multiplayer is where the game shines. But beware, it's brutal. Mastering the game takes serious practice, but there are online resources and co-op to help. StarCraft II is an amazing RTS, but be prepared to invest time, especially for competitive play. <laughs> Old World throws you into the deep end of running a Bronze Age empire. It's more than just building cities and conquering foes. Your leader's quirks, family dynamics, and keeping your people happy all become major hurdles. It's challenging with a lot to learn, but rewarding for those who push through. It's a fresh take on 4X strategy, but be ready to dig in. Group one standing by. Show no mercy. Attack vector laid in. Research division reports it is now equipped for super cap. Homeworld Remastered Collection is a breath of fresh air for RTS fans. Swapping land for stunning 3D space battles. It's deep and strategic, but mastering zero gravity combat takes time. The story is surprisingly heartfelt, following the exiled Kushan on their journey home. While multiplayer is a bit weak, the remastered visuals and epic single player campaigns make this a must play for strategy lovers who crave a unique space adventure. Just be prepared to invest some time learning the ropes. Drone here. Stands ready for battle. At last, crew of the Firemane's Fang. The despoiler's jaws clamp tight about Kadia's throat. Calling all Warhammer captains. Battlefleet Gothic, Armada 2, lets you command epic spaceship battles with stunning visuals and sound. It's a blast for Warhammer fans, but be warned, the campaign can be repetitive and controlling your ships isn't always smooth. Still, if you can overcome these bumps, it's a satisfying strategy experience worth checking out. Starhawks loaded and set. Northgard isn't your typical Viking brawl. This RTS focuses on building a strong clan, managing resources, and surviving harsh winters. It's easy to pick up, but tough to master, thanks to the strategic deck building system. While the story is forgettable, Northgard's beautiful visuals and emphasis on planning make it a satisfying choice for strategy fans. No. 
Loved the visuals and soundtrack in the Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, pure nostalgia for old fans. But the gameplay feels dated. No attack move or rally points can be annoying, and newcomers might find it clunky. Still fun for veterans, especially with the active multiplayer. Great remake, but be wary if you're new to RTS games.